Welcome back everybody. Today we are trying to overclock the 3080 Ti for Kapow. For, eth for Ethereum it was a disappointment and right now it's actually looking like a disappointment for the Ti on Kapow. I hit 4748 at one point but it kept crashing so we brought it down. So the one that I got, I actually got it for sh you know streaming on Twitch but this is the one. And it's, a, it's, a, it's almost a $2,000 card. And it's doing worse on Kapow than the EVGA 3080 that I just pulled out of this rig. This is it. Gotta find a new home for this thing. But let's see what we get. I will actually show you the MSI Afterburner too in a sec. Oh my god. Now we're down to 39.27. So this card needs a lot more power to mine close to what the, just the plain 80 does. And that's a disappointment right now, considering how expensive the TI is. You know, obviously it's got more VRAM, it's supposed to have a better chip. It's basically a descaled 90 chip. Um, this is not good. So let's, we're going to increase the power to 85%. And let me actually show you guys it right here all oh, my things in the way but the power limit over there is 85 to and the temperature is 80 the fan is at 85 I said it myself but okay now let's go back to Kapawi okay it just won't go that high 3940 also I mean we're, we're losing 2 mh right now because of the uh, Zotec 3080Ti is idle. Wow. What is going on here? There it is. It's coming back online now. Idle. Last activity. Okay. So... There it is. It's restarting again. So... If you want to mine Kapow on a much more productive way and you want to stock up before it, you know, halves in January, I would just consider getting the 80, buy two or three EVGA ones, get the hybrid cooler kit off their website for $109, change them out, and just run that. So, the only reason why I bought the 3080 Ti was for Twitch streaming because I am playing GTA V and Fortnite and everything so I bought it just for the extra VRAM but I'm a little disappointed now with the mining look at this it's just it's not it's not doing good it's it's really struggling it's taking forever to load up again and if you didn't see the video on Ethereum, you can go take, you can go check it out. But it seems to be limited. Okay, forty-one point eighty-eight. We got a little more there. Uh, my temperatures on my GeForce window that you can't see is showing us forty-nine Celsius. But I don't have a second GPU in this rig. This card is so massive that it took out. I, I, I had to take out my 1070 Ti because I previously ran two cards in this rig, the 3080 and the 1070 Ti. It's not 40.6, and that is a disappointment. That's a big disappointment, actually. I was I was looking for 55, 56 at MH for Kapow. Just idle crashing. 38.46 so there's a limit of somewhere that where that we got to figure out where it's hitting on and I think is and I think the limiter something must have happened they must have put the limiter on different power limits Nvidia probably got smart about it they put it on different power limits so when you when you try to uh, overclock it certain parts for mining it hits it and it comes right back down Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I will chime in as well. I will chime in down below. I'm going to do some more tests, but this is just to tell you that if you want to mine just Kapow or Ethereum with the 3080 Ti, it's not worth it at all. 
and there will be a separate video comparing the 80, the 80 Ti, the 70 Ti for gaming at 1440. So that's it, guys. I can't get any other. I'm not gonna mess around with it too much because if I put the core clock up over 200, it crashes the card. I tried it at 400 by accident. I just have been 400 plus enter. Crash, completely. I actually it crashed the whole computer. So comment, like, subscribe below, and. We will keep you updated on this.